Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to share with you guys what I packed in my hospital bag and also baby's hospital bag. I will be exactly 39 weeks pregnant tomorrow and I feel like this is the latest I have ever packed my hospital bag. This is my fourth time doing this so I feel like I have really nailed it down to what I like to pack and bring with me. I know every mama is different and you know you bring whatever you feel like you're going to need and use but I just wanted to share what I feel like is a must for me and what I like to pack and bring for myself and the baby as well these are the bags that I will be using they are by Lulu BB you guys the quality of these bags are amazing um, and I feel like this is a perfect hospital bag um, I just love that they are a matching set and this is the diaper bag that I'm planning on using I've used the same exact one with my last baby and I'm planning on using it again it's a backpack style diaper bag it also comes with um, shoulder straps so you can use it more of like a purse style um, but for me this is like a perfect size diaper bag like I said mom soon to be mama four I feel like I could really fit everything I need in here but if you like or prefer something a little bit smaller they do have a smaller option so I'm gonna go ahead dive in and show you guys what I have packed in my hospital bag like I said you really do not need to bring a whole lot of stuff and I feel like this time around I really have packed like very minimal so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have in here so first things first I have my hygiene bag and my little makeup bag so in my hygiene bag I am planning on taking a shower after labor as soon as I deliver the baby and I'm good to get up and go I like to take a shower just to refresh myself and I just have like my you know necessities hairbrush chapstick lotion um nipple cream toothbrush just hair clip makeup removing wipes just like travel little size things and then in this bag I just have a little bit of makeup in here just in case I want to you know look presentable if I want to take you know a couple pictures before we go home or whatever I have that with me I feel like the most important thing to pack with you is your going home outfit because you are going to need to change out of your hospital gown or robe um, to like a normal outfit before you go home so I just brought two options with me just depending on how I'm going to feel depending on the weather um, just so I have options um, I do suggest like bringing like at least two you know different options um, so the first one is just I brought my black leggings and then also this like oversized sweaters and it's pink of course because we are going to have a little girl so I just picked this up at Target in like oversized and I feel like it's just going to be nice to just like throw it on with a pair of leggings and you know you're good to go this is my second option it's a two-piece pajama set so just depending on how I'm feeling I might end up wearing this when I go home but um, I got this off Amazon and it's like super soft and just cozy so if I want something more like relaxed or something more like home vibe um i will put this on i do recommend to bring at least one nursing bra I just pick this one up from target this is more of like a comfortable style you can easily pull down and breastfeed this is the second option this is not a nursing bra this is more of like a bralette style but I feel like you can still easily access and breastfeed if you need to and um, yeah I might prefer to wear this one we'll see I'm also going to be bringing one nightgown um, so I do like to change out of my hospital gown at some point once I start feeling a little bit better and like myself I like to change into something a little bit nicer so I'm going to be bringing this um, button up nightgown and it is going to be easy access for like breastfeeding and if doctors or nurses are coming to check on you you know it's not like a whole lot of hassle so um, this one is from Target as well and it's like super stretchy comfortable so I am planning on 
changing to this after the hospital gown or after I take a shower. I also do like to bring my own pair of slippers. So these are the ones that I'm going to be packing and bringing with me. I also have one pair of socks and I'm planning on wearing these when I go home. I'm going to be packing one pair of postpartum underwear um, just so I can wear these when I go home. And I got these off Amazon. They are like postpartum underwear. I wore them with my last, last time postpartum and I just got like a new pair. Um, so highly recommend. They're like nice and stretchy and high waist and they hold you really nice so I'm just going to be bringing one of these I'm not going to be bringing any pads or postpartum care my hospital provides all of that stuff so I'm not going to pack anything extra also packing these nursing pads um, these are reusable cotton nursing pads I prefer these so much better over the disposable ones and just in case my milk starts to come in I don't want it to start leaking everywhere so I'm going to be using these also I highly recommend just packing couple snacks with you you never know when you're going to go into labor and if you'll have any access to any food so I'm just packing like a couple things with me um, for me and my husband and then also a few of these like protein bars so that is going to be our little like snack stash I am going to be bringing just an empty file folder for all the hospital paperwork that they will be giving you to take home I will have like one place to put it all and it's not like all over my hospital bag so I highly recommend just bringing like an empty file folder or just like any folder this front pocket which is really nice I just have like all of my you know wallet my card like document stuff so I have easy access for that and it does you know you have a zipper and a clip here so that is that you guys now moving on to baby's hospital bag I'll show you guys everything that i have packed in here and what i'm planning on bringing again i packed a very minimal you don't need a whole lot of stuff and um, i'll show you guys what i'm packing for my fourth baby for the baby girl the first thing i have packed in here is her coming home outfit so this is what I'm planning on putting her in when we bring her home. Really cute and also it comes with like a matching little headband. So this is going to be her coming home outfit. Really, really cute. This is something that I added on literally last minute because it where I live is started snowing and the weather is just like being really funny and it could be like really warm out one day and then it's like snowing the next day so just in case you know we don't know how the weather is going to be I just packed her like warm little sweater just so she could be bundled up and really cozy and warm this is going to be her little photo prop when we take her announcement photo so we can like write her name date weight length um so we could just like remember and have it um when we take pictures of her i'm going to be bringing my own little hospital hat it's just like a white simple hospital hat this is the same exact one that adeline wore when she was born so I'm just going to be reusing it for this little girl and you know they can share the same little hat. For the picture purposes I'm going to be bringing one little swaddle blanket and also a little bow just so I could put her in um, this and take a couple pictures. Um, I personally love taking tons of pictures when they're tiny and newborn just so I can have memories and look back at those pictures. So packing that last couple things that i have in here is a warmer blanket like i said i don't know how the weather is going to be when we are going to be bringing our little newborn home so i just want an extra warm blanket to cover her in also a pack of wipes my hospital doesn't provide any wet wipes so i wanted to go ahead and bring my own it's just like a small little pack this is the last two things i have in here is a diaper cream and also her little pacifier that is everything that i'm going to be packing and bringing for my newborn baby like i said 
you don't need a whole lot of stuff like diapers my hospital will provide all of that and for the most part your baby is just going to be swaddled or um, hospitals do provide like a little like white little t-shirts that they're going to be in for the majority of their stay in the hospital so you don't really need to bring a whole lot of like little outfits um, you could bring like an extra outfit just in case but um, from experience, I know that one coming home outfit is plenty for me. So that is what I'm packing for myself and for the baby. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys all in my next video.